Okay, in this video clip, uh, I want to uh, go through very quickly about the general formulation of the um, Kuno equilibrium uh, when we have uh, various firms facing the same demand curve uh, but having uh, different costs because a number of different uh, problems fit this particular uh, format. Okay, so um, let's start with our demand function which we are going to take as uh, being uh, linear uh, so a is the um, intercept on uh, our demand curve there uh, it has a slope of minus one we can we can always do that by simply reformulating uh, the units of measurement uh, minus uh, total output so that is the sum of all the firms uh, output Okay, all these various firms have different costs, or potentially different costs, um, etc. Okay, so now the profit of a typical firm I uh, will be given by a price, which I'm going to write in this particular form, uh, our intercept minus the output produced by the firm in question, uh, minus the output produced by everybody else, which I'm going to uh, denote by Q uh, sub minus I. So that is a uh, price. If I subtract the constant marginal cost, that is profit per unit. And if I multiply that by the amount uh, sold, that will give me the profit of firm I. Okay, next, uh, we want to maximize this profit. So we are going to uh, find the first order condition uh, so we differentiate with respect to the output of uh, firm I and um, and what we get is uh, this uh, well-known um, uh, result uh, which we are going to um, uh, write in a oops uh, how do I get okay let's start again um, a uh, minus uh, marginal cost of firm I minus everybody else's output divided by 2 is the output of firm I Okay, that of course is not our solution. Uh, it's simply the uh, the best response uh, if firm um, I knew how much everybody else uh, was producing, uh, that would give uh, the best response. But we don't know that. Okay, but what we do know is that the same problem will be faced by every board, every other firm. So let's do this now uh, for firm J. Guess what? is going to be exactly the same. Um, this would be uh, the uh, intercept minus the marginal cost of firm J minus the output of everybody other than firm J uh, divided by 2. That's going to be the uh, best response for firm J. And what about firm K? Well, it's going to be exactly the same. Um, oh, I've done it again. This is a C. Um, minus the output of everybody other than firm K divided by 2 is going to be the uh, best response for firm K. Right, okay, so, um, so all, and if we had 25 firms, we would have 25 of, uh, of these first order conditions. Okay, but we can do a lot of uh, simplifications here. Uh, first of all, let's multiply through by 2. Uh, so if I multiply through by 2, I put a 2 there. So that disappears. So that disappears. And that disappears. Okay. Uh, so what uh, have I got here? Uh, I've got this is A minus CI uh, equals what? Um, 2qi plus the output produced by everybody other than firm i. 
Okay, let's write this in a slightly more interesting form. Uh, that is the output of firm I plus the output of everybody in the industry. Okay? Right. Remember, this applies to firm I, but it also applies to firm J. And it also applies to firm K. Etc. Okay, so um, what we can do now uh, is to add up all of these. Okay, let's do that. Let's add up all of these. Uh, I've got, if we add 15 firms, with well, there'll be 15 of these. Uh, here we got three, but I'm going to use N as a, as a general uh, notation. So here we have N A's. Uh, minus, what are these? These are the sums of all the marginal costs of the firm in the industry, or the firms in the industry. And what have I got here? Uh, QI plus QJ plus QK is the output of, um, of the industry, right? So that's the uh, big Q. And here I've got one, two, three Qs because uh, we're, we're having three firms. Uh, if we had n firms, that would be n q's. Okay, so uh, now uh, we are nearly there because that tells me uh, that total output is equal to n a minus the sum of all costs divided by n plus one. Okay, so we are nearly in business because let's return to our best response function for a typical firm I. Okay, what was that? That was that A minus CI equaled the output of firm I plus everybody's uh, output, which we have calculated as being this animal here, right? So let's write it in, in this form now. Okay, so now you can see that that is what we are looking for, what we're looking for, because here we have the best response of firm I, and everything else is a parameter. N is the number of firms, A is the intercept of the demand curve, C's are the marginal cost of all the firms. So we know everything. So we have solved the, uh, the problem. We know exactly how much each firm will produce. So now it's just a matter of rearranging this. And um, I will just give you uh, the, um, the final result because you can, you can just move these things around. And the final result is that the Kuno equilibrium level of output when we have a linear demand curve and firms with potentially different uh, constant marginal costs uh, will be given by uh, the intercept uh, minus uh, the number of firms in the industry times the, this is the marginal cost, okay, n times the marginal cost of the firm in question, uh, plus uh, the sum of everybody else's marginal costs. So if I put J different from I and sum all the J's, uh, divided by N plus one. Okay, so um, this is the solution of our Kuno equilibrium with a, um, a linear demand curve and marginal costs of, um, of the firms that are um, potentially uh, different. And in the next clip, uh, we are going to put this to work uh, to solve some of the problems uh, in um, tutorial uh, four.